Me and Shay have come out fossil hunting on a calm, sunny day. We've come down to this beach where we often find some really exciting ammonite fossils. Shay's going to introduce the video now. Me and my brother decided to come out to the beach today. We aren't expecting too much, we haven't had many rough seas, it's pretty flat. We've got some nice weather though, so that's a bonus. We've just stumbled across this little Hildoceros ammonite. Pretty much straight away as soon as we came onto the beach. It's still got all its shell intact, so it's got some lovely colours. All we could see in the nodule before we cracked it was just that little bit of keel there that's slightly worn. But well, once we revealed this side, we were really pleased with it. So hopefully, hopefully we find a few more like that today. We've also got a really special find that we're going to show you at the end of the video. So we hope you enjoy that. Let's find some fossils. First things first, we're going to be checking the shingle just as we've got down to the beach. There's so much shingle and shale and nodules to look through. There's almost certainly going to be some exciting fossils to find. Shay's got quite a big rucksack on in the event that we come across quite a lot of fossils. However, rarely we manage to fill a rucksack of that size. Even if we just find a couple of nice fossils, we'll be really pleased. As we've already mentioned, we've got that incredible, exciting fossil to show you at the end of the video too. So no matter what, we're going to be seeing some awesome fossils. My brother has spotted what looks like a really nice nodule which hopefully contains an ammonite. We haven't moved it yet. Let's go over, have a look and hopefully there's something nice inside. This is what we initially spotted. Looks like a nice round nodule. And if we just pick it up because it's still stuck in the mud, Oh wow, we can actually see a, a really nice keel of an ammonite. I think we should uh, crack this open. And, should uh, we crack it open now? Yeah, let's go for it. Put my safety glasses on. Are we ready? Oh, so let's go in the other side. Try and get a different angle on it. So the rock above the ammonite itself is peeling away. Oh wow, it's almost fully exposed, just over half of it. We decided to leave that fossil and not hit it anymore. There was already a good amount of it exposed and we can easily remove the remaining limestone with the preparation tools at home. Now we're going to have a look for some more fossils. Little Hildoceros salmonite. Split open pretty well, I was surprised. When I first saw the nodule, you couldn't really see anything obvious. And then gave it a little tap. So really pleased with that one. Nice. I've just spotted one down here. I've not had a proper look at it yet, but you can see it's most likely a complete fossil inside. Let's have a look. Well, there's no doubt there's one in there. Let's hope we can get a good split on it. Yeah, put my safety glasses on. Moment of truth. Oh, that's not too bad. It's the really middle hasn't been preserved, but the rest of it. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. The rest of it's pretty nice. Some lovely prioritization. Lovely split. We've had some really nice finds all in quick succession. I'm going to check a different part of the beach now and see if there's any more fossils in this area to be found. 
Lots of potential pieces of nodule and limestone still to pick up. And I'm sure there's going to be some lovely fossils amongst it. Aaron's just told me that he's spotted a nice ammonite nodule. I haven't seen it myself, so I don't know if it is nice, but I'll be the judge of that. Let's go have a look at it. That's really obvious. You can see the keel just there. Looks like it'll split pretty easy as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it already has split. Just needs a little bit of the middle removing. I'm surprised with that. Beach prepped almost. All of the fossils that we've found today so far have been ammonite fossils and some really nice ammonite fossils at that. We're still gonna have a look around for some more and see if there's any other fossils that we can find. We've also got that marine reptile fossil still to come. I'm very excited for you to see it. We've just spotted a Jurassic rock, which we hope contains an ancient sea creature. So let's go and crack it open. It's just here. All we can actually see is the edge of what we think is an ammonite. So let's Pick it up, have a little look at it. Looks promising. I'm excited to whack this one. Get my safety glasses on. Okay, we've got a split. Oh wow, that's amazing. A 185 million year old fossil and it split perfectly. So what looked like a pretty boring rock turned out to be something quite amazing. After scouring the beach for quite a lot more time, we didn't really find many more fossils here whatsoever. Next thing we're going to do is just head a little bit further up the beach and I've come across a nodule, which Shea is pretty excited to open up. It's a large pyritic nodule and we're hoping it's going to contain an equally large Elegantisaurus ammonite, but we have no idea whether the nodule will be empty or contain a fossil at all. Shea's going to crack it open just now. Aaron's just found this absolutely huge cannonball nodule. We can already see a couple of imprints or a couple of crushed ammonites already on the outside of the nodule so hopefully there's something nice inside when we give it a whack nothing just yet give it another go of truth and it looks like a coprolite so some fossil poo that 
as I'd expected. Yeah, a couple of ammonites. A little bit of poop. <laughs> oh well, better luck next time. Just on our way back, we couldn't help but find one more ammonite fossil. This is one that we had missed when we were looking previously. Shay's going to open it and fingers crossed, it's another lovely specimen. Hey, oh. nice. That's a bit better than expected. It's a lovely one. You can see all the calcite in the chambers. Nice clean split. Please with that one. We finished collecting now, we're about to head back up the cliff. The tide's on its way back in, so we wouldn't have got much longer on the beach anyway. We found some really nice finds today. I'm pretty pleased with how it went. Let's go and now have a look at the fossil I mentioned earlier in the video. The fossil that we're going to be showing you is a large section from a marine reptile called an ichthyosaur. It's got a really interesting story behind how Shea found it and we'll tell you all about it. We'll get the fossil now and show you it. We've come down to the beach to show you this incredible find. Me and Shay have both come down with the fossil. We're gonna show you it. This is a fossil that Shay genuinely saw fall out of the cliff. He was out at the beach looking for ammonites and unbelievably, few rocks fell down and this was one of them. Absolutely insane this has happened. Probably a once in a lifetime event. To physically see it fall out the cliff is just something that I've never even heard of or never had it happen to me. My dad has prepared the fossil after many many hours. We're also lucky enough to have a few other pieces which join onto it but they're not prepared yet. Shay is going to bring the fossil over now and he's going to show you it and I think you're going to absolutely love it just as much as we do. Let's get Shay to bring it over and we'll have a look at it. Here is a look at the fossil that Aaron has just been talking about. It's a huge section of an ancient marine reptile called an ichthyosaur. It's all articulated and I think it looks absolutely stunning. It's a long section of a vertebra column with ribs that are running over the vertebra which I think really adds to the piece. We've got some suspected what we think are predation marks so if we just look down here we think this is where another beast living back in those times has actually tried to eat part of the creature. There's also another little tooth delve just there, which is really cool and just shows how savage these beasts must have been. What did you think it was when you heard it fall out of the cliff? Well, like, like most people, you wouldn't expect it to be anything, but I thought better safe than sorry, went over to the cliff to see what had fallen out and I actually found this along with a fully articulated paddle that had fallen out the cliff. So a paddle actually joins to this section of nodule and as well as that we've got a large part of the vertebra column still to attach to the rest of the block which is really exciting. One of your favourite finds then? Oh definitely, definitely up there. Looks quite heavy. Yeah, it's reasonably heavy. Solid block of bones.
I hope you've enjoyed having a look at that marine reptile fossil. Shay is very pleased with it, as are all of us. I'm incredibly fortunate to have my dad preparing these fossils. A piece like that can easily take 100 hours or more. Very, very time consuming. A lot of you already know as well that Shay does this full time. Although fossils like this are kept in our collection, we do prepare and part with many other decent quality fossils which we'd also be happy to have in our collection but we just can't keep all of them. If you'd like to get a fossil to support my dad and Shay in what they do, please consider checking out his website, yorkshirefossils.net and there's lots of specimens there to choose from. Thanks in advance if you decide to support our page. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them. And thanks in advance for supporting what we do.